This is Mr. Joe from Virtuobotics. Today we'll be learning how to program a Versalino or Berduino using just an Arduino as your programmer. So first of all, you'll need an Arduino. For this one we'll be using an Arduino Uno, but an Arduino Uno or Dumoulin Uve will work perfectly. Second thing you'll need is male to female cables, which can be purchased from our store. And you'll need a chip remover. And obviously you'll need either the Versalino or Berduino that you're going to be programming. So first let's get this set up. All you got to do is remove the chip. Set it over here. So the first thing we have to do is wire up the appropriate stuff. Uh, I'm going to start with the transmit and receive lines. So in the guide for the Berduino, I used blue and orange, so let's just go ahead and use the same colors. So connecting the orange one to pin one, the blue one to pin zero, and then we are going to take the green one, I'm going to connect that to ground, which we can just use this one. Then we're going to take the red one, put that on the 5 volt line. So 5 volt. And the black one goes on our reset line. So these are all the pins that are actually required um, to program pretty much any Arduino system. So let's go ahead and start with the Versalino Nano, which is right here. Let me move this ship over. So our reset pin is the first pin we put in. It's the far right hand corner if you have your board oriented this way. Then we have the uh, transmit pin which is our orange pin. Put it right there. Then we have our RX pin, which is our blue pin. And then we have VDD, which is red. Now between VDD and ground, there's an empty pin. Um, and then that one on the Versalino is D1. It's just uh, meant for extra functionality. Uh, it's not required for programming and it's not included on standard Arduino systems. So, we just put ground, skipping that little one there. You can see. So now you have it connected like so. We should, in theory, get power when we plug in the Arduino. So let's check it out. And there she goes. You can see that we already have the Blink program running on this. Guy. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and program this with a faster Blink. Uh, important thing to remember is that the uh, Versalino Nano uses the Nano bootloader. And so when you go to program it, make sure to select Nano as your device, even though you're programming it through an Uno or Duomo and Um And then to, to be able to access the, the Blink on that, all you got to do is either do pin 2, uh, or you can include the Versalino library and do bus A uh, D1. So let's go ahead and watch it go. It's compiling right now. And you can see that it programmed and now it's blinking faster. And then we can just make a quick change and slow it down. And now you can see that it's blinking slowly. And so that's basically it for the Nano. All you got to do is uh, program it that way. So with the Versalino Uno, it's pretty much the same procedure except for one change. We add a uh, LED to D1 on bus A. Alright. And then we go ahead and wire it up the same way that we ver wired up the Versalino Nano. Put the black on the reset. Put our uh, transmit, which again was our orange. And then we put our, rec our receive, which is blue. We put our VDD, and then we put our ground. Again, still skipping that extra space. 
As you see, I already have a blink program on this one as well. But that's how we have it wired. Okay. <coughs> and let's go ahead and load it up. The only thing you got to change on the IDE is the board type. Okay, and as you can see, it's blinking a lot faster now. <clears throat> For the Versalino Uno, there's actually a way to cheat. And let me show you. So, since this board is running the same bootloader as your Uno, if you don't want to bother with the extra wires or fuss, you can actually pull the chip off. Now, before you do that, I'll unplug it. Okay. And all you gotta do is pop this chip in here, load it in. Let's go ahead and make that blink even faster. Okay, you can see that it's finished programming. We'll go ahead and unplug it again. Take our chip remover. Pull the chip out. Now, you just push the chip in. And let's go ahead and find our power for the Versalino. We'll plug her in, and you see, she's blinking a lot faster. So, um, in general, if you're not really doing this on a regular basis, this is a pretty good way to actually do it. Um, if you need to actually program it on the fly, I highly recommend our uh, FTDI board. Um, it really makes the process a lot simpler. Okay. And so that's it for the Versalino programming guide. I'm going to go ahead and give you a guide on how to program the Berduino based on the guides that we already have written next.